Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. The UAE Central Bank has given in principle approval for an AED stablecoin. This move marks a big step in crypto adoption for the country. It's set to change the UAE's financial landscape and boost blockchain use. AED Stablecoin LLC got approved to create AE Coin. This is under the Payment Token Services Regulation Circular. AE Coin will be the UAE's first regulated stablecoin. AE Coin mixes stable fiat currency with fast blockchain tech. Each coin is backed by UAE dirhams. This makes it a safe and quick way to pay. It will help more people use crypto in the UAE. The South African Revenue Service has announced plans to include crypto assets in its tax compliance programs. SARS is seeking information on crypto users and is increasing its efforts to identify and audit non-compliant taxpayers. The revenue collector urged taxpayers' concerns about compliance to participate in the voluntary disclosure program, but those already under audit will be ineligible. SARS has emphasized the consequences of willful tax evasion and stated its commitment to pursuing all non-compliant taxpayers. Monochrome will launch Australia's first spot Ether exchange traded fund on Tuesday. The Monochrome Ethereum ETF will debut at 10 local time. The Ether fund created by Australian crypto investment firm Monochrome comes after the launch of its spot Bitcoin ETF in August. As of October 10th, the Bitcoin ETF fund held 165 Bitcoin worth just over $10 million. Similar to the spot, a crypto ETFs in Hong Kong, IETH will allow both cash and in-kind applications and redemptions for investors, meaning that investors can buy into and cash out of the fund with Ether. The Avalanche Foundation is set to repurchase 1.97 million Avalanche tokens it sold to the Luna Foundation Guard in April 2022, a month before its Terra blockchain ecosystem collapsed. The Avalanche Foundation to purchase the 1.97 million AVAX tokens for $45.5 million, which are worth $57.4 million in the market, from Terraform Labs' bankruptcy estate. The 1.97 million Avalanche tokens are now worth 42% less than the $100 million LFG paid for back in April 2022. The settlement will reduce litigation costs and deplete fewer assets available to distribute to creditors, Terraform Labs said in the filing. But Nomiel is suing the SEC, claiming the agency overstepped its authority by blocking its XRP futures product, which it views as not being a security. The SEC argued that XRP is a security and requires additional oversight. But Nomiel, already certified by the CFTC, says SEC requirements prevented the listing of XRP futures. The lawsuit ties into the broader ongoing legal battle between Ripple and the SEC over whether XRP qualifies as a security. The Arbitrum DAO's Gaming Catalyst program approved in June with a budget of 225 million ERB tokens is under scrutiny for missed deadlines and poor communication. DAO member Joseph Shiarazi proposed recalling 220 million ERB tokens after noting failures to create a website, issue requests for proposals or provide regular updates. While GCP council members plan to formalize a start date, Shiarazi aims, to, aims for transparency rather than cancellation. Bitcoin NFT sales jumped 29.3% to $16.78 million, contrasting with the broader digital collectibles market decline of 8.78%, totaling over $77 million. Ethereum NFT sales remained strong at $27 million, up 4.95%, while Solana's market grew to $11.38 million, a 2% increase. Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, recently introduced a Bill of Rights outlining 11 tenets for blockchain governance to protect user rights. These tenets emphasize freedom for censorship for rapid transactions, predictable transaction costs for better business planning and support for censorship-free applications. They also address fair contributions by compensating all participants and highlight the preservation of user value by protecting assets from unauthorized access. Additionally, the principles call for efficient resource usage and continuous optimization, advocate for decentralized governance to empower the community, promote user privacy alongside regulatory compliance and emphasize transparency and fairness in processes. 
Cartoon Networks, a cybersecurity firm, has issued a warning about a new threat targeting cryptocurrency exchanges where criminals use AI based deep fake technology to create fake accounts for money laundering instead of seizing existing accounts. According to their report, these tools are being sold in underground markets and are used to bypass identity verification processes. In 2023, fraudulent accounts caused over $5.3 billion in damages. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin recently outlined his vision for the protocol's evolution after the merge, focusing on faster transaction speeds, improved security and increased accessibility for solo stakers. He noted that reducing the current 15-minute transaction time is vital for enhancing user experience and alleviating congestion. Buterin proposed implementing single slot finality and lowering the staking requirement from 32 ETH to 1 ETH to encourage wider participation and decentralization. He also emphasized the importance of enhancing security measures including a cryptographic technique called single secret leader election and addressing potential quantum computing threats. His insights come ahead of the upcoming Prague Electra upgrade scheduled for early 2025. That's all this bulletin for now. This is Meeruti Sharma signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worldstream.io or scan the QR code.